Finesse don't. <laughs> Finesseito. <laughs> Robito. Hey, hey, what is all this? Yo, you're not fucking finished. Yeah, we about to be. Roll it. My boy Thad. My boy Thad. Don't go get the best black bread that I ever had. Next time I get the nastiest black and mild flavor they have. Ask, say, ask say, him that say, I asked for. Say what's new and what's nasty. Yeah. Yo, you want to stop? And get them two. They got one that yeah. tastes like elbow skin. You give them that one. Get them two of them. <laughs> give them two elbow skin black. Get the black licorice, black and mild. <laughs> the black jelly beans. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no pineapple nut. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't got them pineapple wood too. Oh man, y'all out of raisins? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Leave them shits alone, man. man. Come on, man. Peer pressure. Uh, Nah, it ain't pissed. I don't want one rich, but I ain't gonna keep one rich. Hey, man, put them shits down. Goddamn. Shit. Hey, Hey, man, y'all don't understand what just happened off in here, man. Shit getting really real in these fields. They, they, I'm glad that people feel they can, they, can, they can kick it that way here. They can. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's the trap. It is. Yeah, and, it, and, it, and it's actually the, the quite the opposite, man, because right. we ain't trapping nobody, really. No. We just... No, what we're trapped, we're entertainment trapping Ooh. at this point. Oh. Yeah. We're trapping this media. I see what you did. We're trapping man. out this content. Yeah. Content yeah. trapping. Yeah. It's, a, it's constructed, like a Rube Goldberg machine. Yeah. Man. J-O-N. Man, wasn't that shit dope? That was dope, man. And they fucking with your music, man. You saw that? <clears throat> you saw that? I, I saw I saw your eyebrows jump from up under your shades. Yeah. His eyebrows was up under his shades and then they went zoinks. <laughs> <laughs> Jumped up. Hey Clayton, man, look, basically, <clears throat> this part two of some cool shit that I do. I got motherfucking Rito Brown in here. Come on, Rito. Oh, Come on, Rito. Oh, Come on, Rito. Now, this, <laughs> now, see, what people don't understand is this, this is really my partner. Like, this our partner. This is yeah. one of the niggas yeah. that we really laugh at and we really fuck with. And it's like, he ain't on this side of the world very often. When he do, he do be working. He from he from this this coast. Yeah. But he on the yeah. other. You know, I, I I had to check in with him out there just for some ground at some time. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, so, yeah. He put his hands in a lot of in a lot of things too, bro. Yeah. He busy, man. But nah, being out here in Atlanta, dog, I I love coming out here and just getting the energy from from niggas like y'all that do the do this shit. You know right. what I mean? I was talking to Rodney Perry today. He's like, yeah, you go to. LA and people out there chasing their dream where there's niggas in Atlanta that's like, nah, this is it. We living ours job. already. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we already living our dream. Niggas out there chasing their dreams. Oh, we man. down here in Atlanta living ours. Oh, man. I don't <laughs> know what your dream was, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Magic City open <laughs> at seven. I don't know what that man, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> but, nigga, that shit, whatever you want to do down here, you can come down here, especially as a black person, and get it right. in. Yeah. Yeah. It's more about like the movies. Oh, that yeah. shit helped. Man, that's that's dope. Dope. Yeah, yeah. De LA definitely is the place. You know, they, that's where the dreams are. Though, at some point, you gotta go out there and see what they talking yeah, about. That shit hard though. Yeah, I'm you see the dream die. You don't see the dead dream. Yeah. Bitch, still acting for the last role she didn't get. You ever seen the spirit of the dream? Yeah, that's even worse. Yeah, yeah that's like somebody on Hollywood Boulevard who just be out there stealing like costume. You know what I mean? On the corner dancing and shit. I was supposed to be Catwoman. <laughs> and she just keep telling me. I was shit. this close <laughs> to being Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, man, you look like I'm a little bit. <laughs> I swear the road was supposed to be mine. <laughs> the raven never sleeps. <laughs> You just get in the room. The fuck the part is, they were probably in a popular ass movie back in the day. I was in Poltergeist 7. 
<laughs> I was the original pumpkin head. <laughs> no, no, don't give a fuck. Do man. you know who I am? Do you know who I am? <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Victim number 47 in a slasher film. You know me as Joe the Policeman from the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama. <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Rio, what's been up with the content, man? Oh, man, just getting back into it, having fun. What you mean, back you, into you it? What you own it. How is the pandemic? That, right. I think that's what it was. I think when the pandemic hit, a lot of people started putting out content. So it, it really, it, it made the playing field to the point where it's like, all right, you can really just TikTok. You can get a million followers and just jump in front of your camera and, <laughs> How it go? Bro, it stop matter. before you fuck around and go viral. You go viral, all the shit, they man. If they gonna put that thing, they gone. gonna make a gif out of you just doing that and shit, gone. and they gonna loop it. And they gonna, and I'm gone on Damn. TikTok. It's, oh, it's weird, bro. It's man, weird. I love TikTok, bro. I Shout out to TikTok. It. They be posting a lot of shit about me that ain't got. Well, I don't know how to put it. <laughs> but what you mean, like just like they post clips of me that go viral on TikTok. But if I post them shits, nobody would see them. <laughs> nobody like, wanted. So I think they like my content. They don't like you. Just when other you, people like, post it. Yeah, ain't that a bitch? Yeah. I that's, like that's it, though, because I'll just be scrolling. I don't have no content on that bitch. Cause yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have a TikTok page, but I have a lot of content on I have a lurking yeah, page. A like, I have I zero. Do. I'll go and look at that, you know what I mean, just to see what's going on. Yeah. I, I try to make sure there's a fake page out there of mine on TikTok. And I'm yeah. just like, all right, nigga, don't get That's no your burning here. page. Well, what do you be doing? Oh, he just posts some of my old videos and shit. Yeah, I follow all them pages that post my clips. Me Too Redo? Nah, it just it says Rito Brown, you know what I mean? He took your whole name. Yeah, and I don't even bother. So you on TikTok on the burner? Yeah, basically. No, I don't use it though. That, that's know, somebody else but, using that. No, I got a page. So, I just yeah, don't I got have no content page. on it. I got a fake page. I, I got, got a real. I got. A, I got. A, I guess you gotta have a page if you're on there, right? No, I just made up. I just got an explore to... page, and then I follow all the bad bitches on there. But <laughs> the shit that I make me follow them is not the type of shit that they post. It I'm just, tired of them dances, dog. They, I'm not. They like phrase dances. I wish shit. I can watch them like, bitches on silent or something. I don't. Oh, yeah, you can't turn yeah. the sound off? That sound no, is that terrible. Real. I just watch it with the sound. Because you keep hearing the same thing over and over again. But once you hear the me. beginning, it's just... It be the titties like, for me. <laughs> she might not do it for you, little nigga, but she gonna do it for me. Okay. Sometimes them sounds get stuck in your head, like... I am not even know the <laughs> I just know the part. Corvette, Corvette. That nigga really said... That's it. I don't want to learn really the word. He really said that. He said that, dog. He said... TikTok that. taught me one thing. <laughs> I didn't know so many white women across America with big old fat asses. Yeah, that shit don't make sense to me, bro. I, it's way more than I ever thought it was. Yeah, they, they definitely I, I, up well, there well. now. There are some minorities. I don't want to just say white ladies. It is some minorities out there with some fattest <laughs> asses. OK, um, I will say this. Some it, fattest it, it, asses. Expanded. And realize that the demographic is way more <laughs> demographic than I thought it was. Oh, yeah. oh, it, it, it's global. Yeah, ass is not it's global. Ass, ass is, is not exclusive now. to nobody. They're in the some, race now. They used some, to never be in the race. TikToks. Bro, TikTok has shown me TikTok. Native American ass, mm. uh, South Alaska. Pacific Island ass, uh, Inuit Samoan ass. It was just this one big ass white lady. She said she was the descendants of the Vikings. Guess what? She had ass. Damn. I seen a, a, a black girl from Africa, blonde hair and blue eyes. She had ass. So hold on now. Oh, now that you Bold seen all this white ass. women from Louisiana, they got ass. So you seen all this I ass. Are ass. black women still number one in the ass? Yes, yeah. to me. Just but that's ass. that's just from my own cultural yeah. bias. Oh, no, because I've too. seen black asses be great in places they were never supposed to prosper at. Mm. I done seen a fat black ass at a church. Oh, At a funeral. Like, they oh, would prosper in church. I've seen many managers come out the front and stick them keys in the cash register at KFCs across this country <laughs> to delete them orders. <laughs> With that belt dented up in the back. Mm. Taco Bell. Ass. All that Delta. You ever went through the Atlanta airport at 7 o'clock in the morning? And if she got ass in work pants. She got ass in real life. That belt with that motherfucker on the last hole? Yeah. Yeah, but the waist part don't fit, but the ass part ain't no room. 
God was acting a fool when he was putting asses on black women. It's skinny black women out here who can put their clothes on and you would never even know they had ass till they took them off. But it'd be the fattest ass that disappears in the pants, I promise. A, a woman with a fat ass can put on some white woman jeans from like Abercrombie and Fitch and not have the same ass. Ain't that crazy? Put on some bongos. Right. Bitch had on some mud jeans. Right. It's you all in the about. Built like Jessica Simpson. All in about your that presentation. You guys, all how you Look present. Come out. Yeah. Them Amazon leggings then gave a yeah, lot of women ass weak. too. Like a lot of women discovering they had ass and didn't know. Some angles too. They didn't know they had the wrong shit on. Right. You had the wrong shit on. Bitch, you was a zoologist. You was wearing khaki shorts all the time. Right. But the worst that thing about this ass. whole conversation is fat asses can't even be at their greatest because there's so many creepy creeps out here that's creeping up all the creep. They creeping out the ladies, man. Man, they go too far. Yeah, being creeps. Being creeps. You ain't supposed to say all this creep shit that you're thinking. Not to them. Like, like not when? Out loud, <laughs> and this is the reason why, though. You're not supposed to open your brain up to them. Right. Because when has saying some creepy shit ever been made a bitch be like, OK. <laughs> it, it just don't work like that. You're not built like that, bro. All right, help and it's the out. way they start, too. They start to bother you. It's like, oh, shit, it's about to be heavy. Oh, man. Right. There's a lot of creeps out there that fuck the game up. Like, I feel like women would be more freaky if it wasn't for, so the, for the creeps. Because a lot of women want to be naked, believe it or not. Damn. They just... She don't want everybody looking at her, though. No, it's not the part for. about everybody looking. That's fine. It's the creeps. Yeah, you, know how many, you know how many women have went out with their nipples out and then just had to say, you know what, never mind. There's too many creeps. What did the creeps do when she came out with her nipples out? Man, playing pocket pool and shit. Sure would like to suck on them titties. <laughs> <laughs> that fucks it up for everybody. <laughs> That's cool if you think it, but you ain't supposed to say this shit out loud, man. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's like the homeboy that says, man, he's only trying to fuck nothing. That's him. Who right? worse, though? Is, yeah. the, is the nigga that say that worse? Or when the girl stop putting her titties up and the nigga no. go, oh. ain't he worse than the creep nigga? Nah. Cause, Cause he could always leave. <laughs> Soon as he walk out, them bitches might be like, we were trying to fuck with him. And then you got three coochies to yourself. Mm. That's better than being on the honor roll. Oh my goodness. Mm. So he fucked it up when the motherfucker fucked it up for everybody. Shit. Why did would you you just supposed to look at it and keep going, right? And You're not supposed up. to be weirdo. Like, hey, look at them. Look at them, <laughs> look at them nips. <laughs> look like they hitchhike. Hey, cool. but a, if a woman walked in here right now with her titties out and just sat down and started watching us, could uh, we do the whole show without yes, saying anything could. about what the titties? I'm an adult, what when, are when tits new to us? No, we've seen a plethora of tits. I'm gonna continually check on those tits <laughs> that are out. I'm gonna give him a second look. Just because I wanna make sure nobody's being a creep. But see, that's the thing about me. I'm the type of dude where it's like, I'm like a bird watching when it comes to the titties. I'd be like, don't start on the titties. No, 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 no sudden movement. That's yeah. The longer you stay still and quiet, the longer titties will be out. But if you start on them titties, the party is over. It's Don't cool. look them in the area over. Don't look them in the area <laughs> <laughs> Don't. 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 That'd be the word. When girls put titties away, they put a lot of shit on, too. Right. Bra, but shirt, see, turtleneck. That's the thing jacket. about it, though. Where the fuck you get a jacket? We men who no, love women. Gone. Even if them titties was put up, it ain't got to be about no cleavage. We've seen nice titties in a sweater. That's the true test of mm. a titty. Mm. What they hitting on in a Christmas sweater? <laughs> that gingerbread man. Come on. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> if your joy ain't stretched out. <laughs> My humble. <laughs> I thought you just said, oh, I thought you was Jewish. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> but that's the thing about it, though, man. It's, it's so many parts of a woman that's just as sexy as the obvious ass and titties. What's, what's fucking with a woman with some beautiful ass toes? Huh? What'd you say? I said, what's fucking with a lady who got some beautiful ass toes? But how, what, what make it beautiful? Like, I mean, this this You will know, nice. you will know when you got a motherfucker with some ugly ones. I know that. That's a fact. Yeah. I can't tell you what look good to you, nigga. You might like 
Some shit I don't like when it come to feet. I like them little potato toes. <laughs> I don't even know what. Explain. They don't bend. They must not bend. Explain. No, they they you they know with the ones I'm talking about. Explain. Well, the motherfucker. Like, oh, with the with the with the with the toes in the foot. Man, when she put them with shit. With the toes in the foot, where the foot is in the toe. Mm -mm. No, no, no. The foot is over the toe, and the toe is in the foot. Man, I have to show you a picture of them. It's I too hard to describe, about, bro. And you should be. Yeah, the motherfucker. They you yeah. Might as well say you, they you, symmetrical and you shit. You like webbing. Yeah. A lot of girls, it'd be, it'd be the no, I ain't like, you try to sneak that shit in because you I don't like fuck with webbed feet. feet. You like but if she got webbed feet and they look good, I fuck you like Webber Gale. You, like you like Webber Gale. Fuck that. You like, you can swim her ass What a good swimming ass. <laughs> I really judge it. Like, if I judge butt. a woman's feet, I really look at that pinky toenail to see what kind of condition it's in. That tell you what that type of life she done had. I've seen a girl, like, she had no pinky toenail, but no. it was painted still on the toe part. The toe? Yeah, the Skin. toe was painted. Like, every toenail was painted, then the pinky toe had no nail, but it was still painted, too. And Sometimes it was kind of like floating. Dot. I've seen that. Yeah, that shit is like... When nah, it floats, the floating, you know, where the nail should be. All five of them gotta be straight on Technology has come so far, though, they can put a false one on there. Like a... Like false a, toenail? Yeah. Why wouldn't you just wear a shoe all the time? Why would man, you put a false that toenail shit, on man. You don't know what people have been through to be who they are. I would, yeah. Hey, man, you know some of my favorite shit that you always do? What's that? That you said that. Oh, yeah. Those shits are fun, man. To, I, I think people fell in love with a man because they feel like a lot of people be fucking lying, dog. So to really see that side of a nigga that tells stories like that and then be like, nah, that's the kind of shit that really happened, man, that should be fun, bro. <laughs> Every time we try to come out and do something positive, they don't want to help. They be like, black people not going to support that bullshit. Go to the, go to the website. 85apparel.com. Say it again. 85apparel.com. Man, put it on the screen. You know what I mean? And I know my accent a little heavy when I say a pearl. It's not a you in it. A pearl. You know how to fucking spell. A pearl. Go get some a pearl. Go get some a pearl. Sick of this shit, man. Shit. Every day. Man, Do let, it over man, let me get a hat. Yeah, man. Let me what, get that hat. What's up, man? Take that off. When the 4X gonna be in? Yeah, man. Are you mad? Y'all ain't got nothing for babies. Uh, man, what the fuck? When y'all gonna get some ones? Yeah, I know, man. Cut some of this man, shit out. Man, buy the shit we got. So we yeah. Gonna... Save it for your baby. That nigga gonna grow up one day. He gonna want this. I'm tired of telling them. Me bro. too, I'm man. I'm just gonna start wearing all the shit myself. I wear it every day anyway. I like it. Me too. It's nice. It's nice quality. Man. Everything. You know what I mean? That shit's soft, man. Made out of hoodie material. Yeah, even the pants. The we got sweatpants made out of hoodie material. Come on, man. Dude, and it ain't like this ain't no knockoff shit. You can wash. I mean, you can wash this. Right. Anyway. It ain't like, gonna fade it's or nothing. The same. Better than that shit you used to. We making sure. Bro, I had this hoodie for the whole five years. Yeah, I know. Look, still great. All the way. And niggas don't know how to wash clothes good, so it's not because we have a good washing routine. Bruh, it's just because the shit is nice. We got all the nigga colors. We got black, we got red, we got blue, we got we got some pink shit for the girls. White. Socks, rolling tray, lighters. Man, what else they want us to come out with? I, I better guess. add, I guess, because we got to keep doing these motherfuckers. I'm about to call LL Cool J. Right. I'm about to pay somebody else to do this I shit. I know, right? Get that nigga to roll his pants not, leg up one bro, time. I don't know what they want me to do. Everybody who come through here get some of this dope ass shit and be like, I like that shit. Yeah, it's nice, it's thick, it's cool. Hey man, why, why that hat cost that much? Nigga, we don't own no factory. We had to cut a deal. We got to make some money off this shit too. Exactly. I don't understand why y'all Nigga, just even the tag in our shit is better. It say 80, it's imprinted on the... So a motherfucker can't say, you know, like Biggie said, they go to nigga with the fake eyes. You ain't got to worry about that. It's real. It's our shit. shit is real. Nay, that's what I'm saying. You got to get our shit. Because when we see y'all with the shit, they're going to try to act like we shit. don't know how much the shit they be buying costs. Right. Our shit don't even cost that. Don't even that. cost that money. Man. I had somebody send me a DM saying, hey, man, it's an 85 South Shows hoodie I'm marking up for y'all. What you think? I think you need to get that shit the fuck out of my page. The bootlegger sent you the shit that they was bootlegging? Fuck, you gonna get me to approve some bootleg shit. Taking food out my kid's mouth. Right. With my idea. Right. Wow. Motherfuckers. Buy some of this shit, man. Okay? It's Christmas time. We ain't gonna see the money till April anyway. Just go ahead and get some of this shit. 
I don't know what else to tell them. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting those kind of stories, man. Those are definitely the, the ones that I have the most fun with. What's some, some more of your favorites? <sighs> My favorite one of all time gotta be the one I just did with Moneybag and Katie. Just to sit with them and uh, take a sketch like that, that I would say is complicated, you know what I mean? Because of the, sh the shit we talking about. Yeah. But to go into that room and do a sketch that was four minutes long yeah. and to skate around that. Yeah. And to uh, get everybody to be like, nah, this is actually funny. Like, that's probably my favorite sketch of all time. Another one you do when a nigga be going off them edibles. <laughs> nigga <laughs> laid down and fall asleep. How long have I been sleeping? Oh, man, that was old. I was sitting down on the couch. <laughs> yeah. Like, man, I think I was, I was high as fuck one day, dog, and I had to go really lay down. And I'm just laying down, can't sleep. And I just, that's when I think of my best shit when I'm high, man. I thought of that shit. Like, nigga, be oh, you don't got to tell me. I've had plenty of midday high sessions where you fall asleep in L.A. And wake up and it's 1 o'clock and you got to try to figure out <laughs> if in and out still open. Come on, man. That's when you start finding this other shit. Man. Different ethnicities have food that's yeah. open way later than I should be open. Man. They don't even pull up to 1 o'clock. Hey, where did you come from, nigga? Man, I thought this was a problem. And you sound stupid as hell explaining to people where you got it from. What you eating? Uh, my dog, this is a Mexican hamburger on the flatbread. <laughs> uh, tortuga? <laughs> I don't know, brother. I ordered two tortugas. <laughs> they came in tortuga, and then the bitch gave me a gringa. <laughs> I didn't want a gringa, but the gringa was good. I was about to eat that bitch, then the dude who sold it to me was like, no, no, and he gave me some little green shit in a cup. I don't know what this shit is. But it's sweet and it's spicy. <laughs> but it do burn a little bit. <laughs> it start burning a little bit. Mm. They had all the sauces out. No lean. Hey, I don't know what the fuck it is, but it feel like leaves is growing in my mouth. That should be good to the motherfucker, though, dog. Boy. What about the hot shit? You ever had that shit? No, nah, I don't trust that. That shit? The hot shit? Yeah. The, uh, I always ask yeah. them what's hot. And, and you know what? Cha -cha this is the one like thing I love Chim about, about I don't want to say Mexican specifically, but the Hispanic food truck. They believe in their food so much, they'll give you a piece of some shit you didn't order. Stay for you? Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. While you waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna cook with that shit? I just... Yeah, I ain't Nigga, I bought him some, some candy, but you just cut me a piece of pork. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be funny, though? I got mango, but nigga people gave me some. People watch this show, and then they send me. Stupid. me. But this is the thing. People watch this show, and then they'll send me pictures of food and be like, let me cook for you. And I'd be like, what if you sent me pictures of food that I don't eat? Is that going to make me want some more shit? How, what made you pick this to send me that to be like, Los gonna fuck with this? You don't even know my eating habits. Mm. But yeah, would that's you real. Eat? So just to send Bro, you I'm, some, they send I'm you the though? most picky eater in what, the what, what did the nigga send you? They it don't matter. They just don't know what the fuck I eat. <laughs> this nigga is. Yeah, if you wanna impress me, send me a grill ham and cheese plane. Oh, this this nigga is childish nothing. when it comes to the menu. Oh menu. yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm the type of nigga I'll get high and I'll start. I look at the menu and make some shit that niggas ain't never heard of, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, I want to eat nah, that Nah, nigga, this nigga I will break nigga down whatever dish. No, that's a hamburger. Take off the tomato, the lettuce, and the bun. Put the bun on the side. Cook the hamburger on both sides equally for the same amount of motherfucking time. He telling this to a, a waiter? I would do Man, it if, if it he's was. He's saying it with his mind. Like this nigga, cause I do at shit like. Person. Let me and get, then, like, let me get a like chicken sandwich, <laughs> but put it on a quarter pound of bread, cause I don't like that bread that y'all be do putting. Do you have out. a potato bun? I don't want it. I just wanted to see if. No, I don't it. eat onion bread. Onion bread. I don't, and I don't like pressed there bread. See, I'm right. the type of nigga. I go. I went to Papa Do's today. Papa Do's like, like. Let me get the shrimp and grits. Okay, Papa Do's order. What's your Papa Do's order? Right here. I got here. the shrimp and grits. And I got the alligator bites. Okay. You know what my papa and then does? I take, hold on, hold on, hold on. I take the alligator bites and I throw it in the shrimp and grits. Uh, to mix you ain't it all been together. Nowhere. Yeah, ain't never all been together. nowhere. Yeah, you I know what my papa does order is? That shit amazing. It's swamp salad. That shit is amazing. Y'all niggas, who ain't never been? Y'all ain't never had swamp salad? Hold on, I'm about to tell you my papa does. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you my like papa does order. <laughs> Good. Well, I right, don't have on. one. Come on. Give me your papa does order. I don't have one. See? All right. But first of all, what, I, what's your favorite spot you eat at? 
<laughs> no, look. This Home. Is <laughs> it don't be at <laughs> That's where it got, that's where I'm at. <laughs> now, the good thing about being a picky eater is I can literally get some food from anywhere. Yeah. I just, it's got to be a certain way I ain't going to. Because there's so much shit that I don't eat. I've had a bad experience with trying new shit. I don't know what happened to this nigga, man. Man, I'll tell something. you everything that happened to me. I don't want to hear this, now. Bro, I've, ain't, I've had some. You, I almost said I've eaten. I've eaten some of the worst shit. You ate it. <laughs> I've ate it. Oh, no, you ate it. Enough. And it made me regret it. My nigga. This ain't for me. Like you did the bowl? What the? F oh, all right. What, what happened, bro? What happened? What did you eat it? I, bro, I grew up around a lot of old ass people who, who used to eat a lot of struggle food that we didn't have to eat no oh, more. Scrabble. Yeah, and they used to be trying to suggest it and shit. It's like, look, look, grandfather, I love you, but it's, it's 89 degrees in the afternoon. I'm not about to sit here and eat these hot ass peas with you. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not a bean. I'm not a bean person. I thought he was gonna say some wild shit. <laughs> but I'm just saying, there's so many instances like that, bro. Like Man, I had, I had going to a, going to phone. places and people offering me shit that I told them I didn't like, and they're like, "Well, eat it, just try it," and then it make me sick and I'm fucked up. <laughs> it's 90 degrees. Eat these goddamn peas. Eat these lima beans. <laughs> What you mean you don't like broccoli? Look, this is the hottest summer. What are we doing? Not about I want to go outside and play. Come on, man. It's burning. I came in here for a popsicle. <laughs> I'm talking about I grew up around a lot. I came in here for an outer pop. I'm, I grew up around some old ass people, nigga. I'm talking about who had dietary restrictions and shit. Oh, nigga, nigga you ever ate boiled fish? What, what was it boiled when you bought it mean? or did you no. have to boil it? How you boil fish? Exactly. Mean, this is no. some of the worst shit I've ever heard. You never had you never heard of boiled no, fish. That's, I didn't know that was a thing. Man, but I think, shit? What, I I think be. boiled fish and baked fish is the worst shit that you can eat. Dang. Baked is baked can be alright if it's done right. I'm talking about I've had some shit that tastes so bad to me, it made me not like other shit. What you mean? It just fucked up a whole section of your taste? Yeah. <laughs> Look at bitch ass onions over there hanging out with the soup that I, I just didn't like onions. Oh, these don't taste the same as them other onions. Bitch, they onions. I don't fuck with you or your cousins. It's just a lot of, lot of bullshit, man. I'm sorry. I don't apologize for nothing because don't none of these motherfuckers have to feed me. I know what I like. She still eat pussy though. Nigga, I eat, I eat all that shit. Papa all the dogs, yeah, I eat everything. I'm going in, dog. Yeah, Papa Dogs, first of all, you're bringing me the brochette if you got it. That's with the little skewer with the shrimp wrap bacon. Oh, this nigga turned to tell you when he and Papa Dogs. I'm in that bitch. Then I want goddamn something with some noodles. So I'm getting some type of like fettuccine a alfredo. Yeah, I'm getting that too. And then we going in like that. I done worked. I worked at the other shit. I worked at Papa's restaurant. Oh, let Papa's me tell you. Papa's got a lot of restaurants. Mm -hmm. I used to fuck some fettuccine Alfredo up. But when you said that, the, the, I had some shit. Some shit with the wrong kind of fettuccine or something. What, what? The wrong I, it, it, was a, it was a sharp pain right here. And when you said that, it triggered so you the phantom eat, you pain. You can't eat it no more. Nah, because you one, can't eat it no more. One bad experience. One bad noodle. One bad Wait, noodle. Okay. Because I right. felt no, the exact no, no. pain. Hold on, big dog. The way it kicked in. Oh, shit. That's what it was. It hurt me that time. Hold on. All right, bet. Comedy club? I think it was at the comedy club. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that shouldn't count. The, you shouldn't the comedy take club Alfredo will fuck out because of the comedy club. No, no I didn't even. I'm do real too. cautious I about it. it too. I do it. Because it's comedy the club. No, the comedy nachos club for menu you. is small. But if, if, you, bro. if you judge food, like if you judge nachos off of a comedy club menu, you fucked up. No, no, no. Yeah, That's not fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You listen, know what kept me alive off the comedy club menu? Different people. Outside of the chicken wings. You could always tell like where the club's standing at based off how good the chicken quesadilla is. Mm, that's what you go off of. If you I if it's a good, a good if it was a good off. chicken quesadilla, it's a real classy joint. Shit, real talk, you can go in the kitchen and see who all in there. Nah, I feel like you can't go wrong with with the chicken tenders, no matter what club you at. Some of them shits don't be fried right. 
But I mean, chicken tenders every night. I mean, at some point, bro. Right. It's some like, comedy on, clubs out yeah. here that got like that could be like four star steakhouses. Mm. They it's got good steak it's and good movie. burgers. I can't think of them right now. When but. your comedy club got good steak burgers, I feel like it's a classy joint. Mm. Yeah. If as long as y'all got something that y'all do good, like, hey man, hey man. If the motherfuckers that work, they'd be like, hey man, get that goddamn. You know yeah. what the one, yeah. this the one they flaw say? that comedy yeah. clubs don't understand they doing. They don't have enough dessert options. And the ones that they do, they so underwhelming. It's just like, you got to give a fuck. Because people in here laughing, they might do some dumb shit. Like, nigga, I know I'm lactose, but nigga, give me that brownie with that ice cream on it with them sprinkles on it. <laughs> That's what I you might shit on myself on the way home. Don't you know, um, mix don't that you think shit it with came the from like research? Nah. Like my nigga, every time we add dessert, <laughs> yeah, these niggas fucking These milk. niggas break a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Insurance purposes. Yo, take every ice cream off nigga. the menu. Yo, why do we take ice cream off the menu? Don't ask no fucking questions. And you wonder why take all, it this, all the stalls this warm is taped cookie. up. Yeah, these niggas a warm cookie. Give them a cookie and a skillet. <laughs> Give him a fucking cookie in a skillet. You ever had that shit? No ice cream? That shit ain't good like that. Hey, my nigga, you all the way from Boston and shit, but you, Boston. you picked it up and moved to L.A. What would, you, what would you say the first thing that you saw that made me be like, what the fuck? Made you be like, what the fuck? When I was in L.A.? Yeah, just being a whole change of motherfucking coast. Um, <laughs> oh, man, when I first... When I first seen how uh, early Tonio Skits got up to work, you met, yeah, I mean, you know Tonio Skits working on Wildin' Out and shit. Mm -hmm. When I was going to LA, I was staying at uh, his spot every once in a while and shit, and that nigga was up at six o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, nigga, what the fuck are you doing up? He's like, oh yeah, I'm checking my Facebook, I'm posting all these videos out for the week, and then I'm gonna have my Instagram going, and I get that going at nine o'clock, because that's what's going on in the East Coast. And by the time it's twelve, it's nine o'clock here. It'll be twelve o'clock there. Them niggas is on lunch, and I could take a break here. And I just got the world jumping here in L.A. because it's nine o'clock in these niggas. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going back to bed, nigga. But being around that shit, I wasn't waking up at twelve o'clock no more. After being at his crib for a week, I started waking up at eleven. Oh, okay. Being in his crib, another week, I started waking up at <laughs> ten. Shit say, like that. You got the whole whole extra hour. <laughs> extra hour. I'm just waking up a little early. I, it's, it's steps, nigga. This nigga, I'm missing. Took a little bit. Boy, you I'm let me down that time. Right. Boy, you let me down that time. I ain't getting up at 12. <laughs> now I'm up. 11. I'm dressed at 11. I see this nigga doing it. I'm trying. <laughs> Wake up at 11, 11 or dressed at 11. Nigga, up, my and still bed. ask this nigga, hey, you been up since 6? You know he been up since 6. <laughs> You better not put your hands on me, you black motherfucker. I'll beat but your nah, ass. I, I let the lock. You that said nigga, that shit? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I learned a lot from that. Just being out there. I just, I learned work. a lot just by hearing you tell that story. Nah, bro. If I still, if I was still in Boston, though, I would be doing it different. I wouldn't know the business side of this shit. Yeah. I learned that from that nigga. You know. What yeah. I mean? Tony Oski is a real nigga, and he always yeah. shares a platform with the people that's around him. Yeah. He down to do whatever, create some shit with you. And yeah. Show you how to edit that bitch on your phone if you got time to sit down and listen to this. <laughs> like, oh, man, he'll tell you. That. He got a hell of a story too, bro. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I fuck with Tony kids, man. That's what it is, man. We just up in the studio vibing, man. This is one of them, one of them ones, man. When when your dog pull up in the city and I be like, shit, let's get one, one in, man. bro. Hey, matter of fact, Carlos, what you think your future baby mama doing right now? My future baby mama, yeah, is probably laying in the bed right now. Mm -hmm. Trying to decide if she about to get up and pee right. <laughs> she got to pee, but she ain't, she can wait a little bit longer. <laughs> she waiting to pee? Right. And she tired, but she want to get up and take a shower. Hey, so I bet, yeah. Every time I see this nigga, we just do that. Ask that random ass question. Man. Nigga just, man. What's your future baby mama doing right now? Right now? Yeah. She she climbing off the balcony of her neighbor's porch because she left her keys at work. Right. To get in the house because the baby's asleep. Damn. <laughs> hey, man, she yeah, what my future baby mama doing? Right? What's your future baby mama doing? <laughs> Calling me. Oh. Damn. That, that one was too Is real. that close? Mm. 
See how y'all did it? That nigga in Damn. love. It's about that time then. Congratulations to you. Did it. Yeah. We spoke it up. Evil lurking. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no evil. All right. Mm. Evil can evil. My future baby mama probably saying probably somewhere right now saying she can't sleep with the fan on, but she just took the other blanket out of her little boardroom on the other bed because she cold. But she gotta have that fan on. <laughs> Box fan. Yeah. That's it, yeah. My future baby mom in the bed right now. I'm trying to figure out how she's gonna finish this work for tomorrow. While this nigga in the living room playing on the uh, PlayStation. <laughs> Sucking her Wi Fi up. My future baby mama is laying in her house by herself without no nigga. <laughs> telling herself she don't need a man for shit. <laughs> but in the back of her mind, she telling herself she want one. <clears throat> she thinks she's so independent, but little does she know, she plugged her phone charger in, but it came unplugged. So when she wake up, her phone ain't gonna be charged. <laughs> Cause she got one of them loosey ass plugs, like when you plug the charger in, it just fall out. It be loose in there. Some of these plugs been fucking too much. <laughs> yeah, cause you roll it up and you take it everywhere. No, I'm just Man. saying, like when you stick, <laughs> when you plug the shit in, and then it's just like the plug just fall out and be like the neck and shit showing. Oh yeah. My future baby mama on her grandmama couch right now, cause she got evicted, and she looking at baby pictures. Mmm. <laughs> My future baby mama so full of herself, she masturbates to her own nudes. Damn. Yeah. She ain't shit, though. But Damn. if you ask about them, she swears she ain't got none. She's selfish. Yeah. Whatever, bro. Yeah. I ain't got a whole lot of future baby mamas. I might got one or two left. Oh, man. That third one, she really gonna be blessed, because I'm gonna be really done with life, you know so what I'm saying? Just giving them all of this. No, I'm just saying. I feel like I, I feel like I'm old at least one more. Yeah. I want an athlete though. Why? Huh? I don't know. I want I just want a child that's just an athlete. Oh, oh I, your I, kids I, don't. I, I read that wrong. Oh no no no! I, I thought want you wanted the athlete. athlete. No, I, I was like, what you wanted? You, know, you want? I want, want a kid that's an athlete. Mm. Okay. You know what I mean? I want a kid that just goes. Through sports, he's like, nah, I just want to play football. You know how to do that, right? That, I mean, everybody, you should just do it. What you just mean? do what? You just work them out while they sleep. Nah, <clears> some kids just ain't built for it. No, yeah. no, no. When they sleep, you just work. Kids their, have their own their desires, own, man. They work their feet. Really? When they keep babies? Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Kids, are, they got their yeah. own desires, man. You can't yeah. push them to do you nothing. You don't want to do it. You just have to display the options to you let them pick. You do it. Oh, OK. I see what you're saying. Yeah. You might, your, your son might be the next best lacrosse player there ever was. They just, tell you, you you're supposed to. What if you doing all that shit, then the baby, the nigga's only like four or nine. Then it might not be you your baby. You did all that, and now this nigga's just. It, it might don't not matter, be he can be stuff. good at something. There's what, what, a, a whole wide range of sports. Hell yeah. I mean, it don't mean he gonna get to be the best sports. No, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> this was about him. <laughs> That was a little too personal. I'm sorry. Because you was real specific. <laughs> what if it's only four nine? I, I heard that you, <laughs> that came from a dark place. Nah, man, I'm not that small. Man. I ain't say you were. But I never he, said he that. Yeah, the height. At, a, at nah, some, just like, what, what at some point, you working out for the kid, and he just ain't that tall. Nah. Oh, but yeah. still, it doesn't matter. Man, it's a lot of people that's, that's all types of heights to do all type of shit. Yeah. Right. You gotta be like, bro. Nothing can, can stop you from nah, being great in this life. On, it's man. just a bunch of excuses at this point. That for a nigga that's that short yeah, to that. play play a sport, nah, man. He could be I a professional, bro. Professional what? You guys keep saying professional, but y'all ain't putting what word out there. games are there? Hey, man. <laughs> Michael Jordan one. said it best. The ceiling is the roof. There you go. You that nigga six six, bro. Tell so, me something. Somebody under five feet. High life. I don't know. It Tell you something somebody jockey. under five feet said? Great yeah. job. Get in where you fit in. Who said that? A lot Lovely of short bro. people. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon said that shit when he took over Waterloo. 
get in where you fit in. Hey, man. <laughs> No, nothing. Somebody. No limits <laughs> is limits. Bruce oh, Lee man. said that. Come on, man. Listen, if you want an athlete, the, the kid got to choose to do it. Like you can show it to him. There's ways you could go. You know right. they say. You, you know they say the, the way you're supposed to. Toddler's supposed to do yoga. If you then if your athlete is then easy. whatever. They say soccer first. No, yeah. it's, it's soccer yoga as endurance. a little toddler, as a little baby. Yeah. Yeah. Then soccer to get their endurance together so yeah. these motherfuckers can run up and down the big ass soccer field. Yeah. And then from there, once they get to like being like a little kid where you can actually, then whatever they want, they got a good foundation. That's what they try to say. Right, oh, man, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're an athlete, then it's easier though. You could just have enough kids to where you figure out which one is good at sports, and there you have it. Shortcut. That's the shortcut. Yeah. The shortcut. And make them challenge it. each other. Nah. Well, I mean, Michael Jordan was an athlete, and his sons didn't do the same. Thing. Hey man, you don't just know because what they, they didn't did. live up to your hype, don't do them like that. <laughs> no, Sometimes you gotta not. train where your shit. Is. You can't train with nice shit. Nah, bro. They was training with. They have. <laughs> they got more important <laughs> things. The people was training with. They daddy shoes on. How you gonna get good with your daddy's shoes on? No. You gotta be a nigga that's got shoes that's not even that good. Like, they're not even the right kind of shoes for you to be hooping. That's how you get good. You get good in adversity, nigga. When shit is you don't know what basketball did to that family at the house. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a backstory to that that you're not ready to hear. Basketball just destroyed my family, okay? So talk about it. You want me to dunk? <laughs> Fuck basketball. That's all I ever fucking hear. Where are your laps, Marcus? Where are your laps, Marcus? He wasn't even fucking eating dinner with us. I can't jump from the free throw line, okay, <laughs> Dan? Hey, hey, who brought these goddamn Reeboks in my house? <laughs> in this bed, all in here in the other room. Who said he could be on the motherfucking wrestling team? <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? hey. <laughs> If he would just come and see me wrestle. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm so good. Wow. There's no individuality in this family. I make the baseball team. He makes the baseball team. How am I supposed to make a name for myself? Now you're playing baseball. It's <laughs> gonna steal all the glory, huh? Just want it all yourself. Oh shit. You know what? I, oh, I'll just stop. I'll just fall back from the sports and I'll just do my own like mm. t-shirt and apparel line. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck you ain't gotta do much. Wow. Stop. Wow, really? You made it funny. It's wow. not that funny. It's, it's funny because you made it funny. Wow. No. Wow. Oh, that's your funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking rebuttal. Every time they tried to branch out, here he come. Well, look, man, Ma, look, I know you love me. I've been doing the art. Me and my brother, we came out with this really dope cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> you, why would you, you, you brought it up. What you mean, man? It's, it's real shit, though. I never listened to it like that. Man, that shit gotta be hard, man. <laughs> Y'all want me to jump from where? What? <laughs> it was my dad? <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to class. This is stupid. I didn't make the team. How many points? <laughs> and then you know Michael I didn't make the team, Dad. Bro, Why Mike, not? You know yeah, Mike 40. Petty as hell? Because I didn't jump on the floor. He got a hoop in the driveway. <laughs> you can't dunk for shit. <laughs> like, is that motherfucker breaking this? Oh. You look up, that bitch 11 and a half feet. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted you to fly, son. <laughs> <laughs> I, you had me thinking I couldn't dunk this whole time. <laughs> 
I will bust my fucking head <laughs> on the backboard. <laughs> hey, hey, who left that basketball in the driveway? You pick it up and just throw it over your shoulder, that bitch go in. Oh, man. Man. Yeah, you can't keep up with that. That's too uh, much pressure. Hey, hey, Pops, uh, you know when we do, like, if I try to come, how you? I don't know, son. Figure it out. <laughs> you see, it's a driveway right there. It's a pool court right there, son. It's an inside one and an outside one. Ain't no excuse for you. To, ain't no, it really ain't no reason for you to be asking me nothing. Why you asking me? I said you do it before. You hear that from your dad, Michael uh, Jordan? He tell you that? Hey, hey, you watch them tapes of me? <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, not them tapes, not the playoff tapes. The one when I was in high school when I was a little broke ass nigga like you. <laughs> you were out here with your lips poked out. <laughs> Talking about some fucking Reeboks. <laughs> All I do for y'all. You do me like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think I ain't see them goddamn shell to Adidas in your closet too, huh? Look, look me in my eyes. You can get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> if you bring another fucking tennis shoe, <laughs> then they got the drop, man. <laughs> it's the family name. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what man. about mama, though? <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. No, man. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna do that, man. Stop, Ryan. Ryan done looked up his stats. Leave that boy alone, man. What are you doing, Ryan? Nah, no. <laughs> Stop, Ryan. You, you instigator. His stats is probably good, but they ain't gonna be good because of who his father is. Nobody's stats if he, are. If he averaged 22 in high school, that's really good. Bro, if his that's because, Jordan, that's what you don't know. understand. His father is a fucking legend. Everything he did was superior. Mm -hmm. and Michael he, Jordan once scored 45 points with one sock on. And he was being Stupid great. shit like that. <laughs> I just made that great. up, but it's probably well, true. Sound with true one sock on. With yeah. one sock on. Because somebody, somebody stepped on his foot in game two, and he couldn't get a sock on that foot. But he could get that Jordan number six on <laughs> You know he had, he had to wear them pennies? Probably. And he cut the one off the back? Yeah, he did. He had to wear them ones. He they didn't was, have they to. one penny shoe yet, but they were one. And he they had lost his luggage. And it was the only shoes they had in his size. And Lost he wore it. his shit and cut his shit off. He cut the one off because the one was on the little tab and shit. Mm. Think like, of the motherfucker who helped them lose it. Man, motherfucker threw that shit away. They was trying to get that motherfucker food poison. They was trying man. to assassinate him. Like man, Fidel Castro. Right. Damn, if you worked at the airport and you seen Michael Jordan's luggage, he playing against nah, the you, you, you work at the away? airport. And you work, and you over there with the niggas who steal the luggage, but you can't say shit. Y'all work. You, work. you know the no, you know no, the man. niggas who stealing luggage at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> it's about We're three done. motherfuckers. Bro, you'll never guess what shit we got. Who oh, man, go on. Got some shit. Well, Michael Jordan, nigga. <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Nigga, he got the space jams in there. Come on. That's now, the jersey now, for the game think, tonight. That's, that's for the night. Think about it. The space think jams about in there. Think about it. You know how they knew it was Michael Jordan luggage, too? Because the jeans was big as fuck. Like, the jeans, all the jeans were <laughs> former leg jeans. You got some jinkos. <laughs> what are these? You <laughs> got some extra wide legs. Man, jeans, come on. Man. Oh, oh man, bro. Fuck no. Yeah, man, real life. Real life oh. gangster shit. Man, that shit That shit crazy. That's huh? fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why y'all even did that. That shit. But that up. shit was excellent. That's oh, what this shit God. be about, man. Yeah. Mm. That shit is wild, bro. We all in this bitch has a motherfucker though, man. Y'all see the world slowly opening back up. Yeah. Is is it opening? It's oh, open, it's just, man. you know, it's open. But it's it, open. Y'all been open, though. Ain't closed. Yeah. Atlanta ain't afraid of shit. No, nah, it ain't that Atlanta ain't afraid. It's just that, nigga. Who gonna go out, go out. Who gonna go out, go out. 
No, from LA, we're, we're in LA, it shut nah, down. No, ain't shit open out there. It shut, so anywhere that we hear is open, we like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. But it ain't everybody out there. It's the people that was gonna go out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't gonna go out, you weren't gonna go out. Yeah, Pete, you, know you can saying? tell hey, there's still a lot of people wearing their mask out here. You know Hell I mean? yeah. So the people in LA everybody got their mask on still. Oh yeah, you spoke. I mean, shit. The mask, I, I got so many of them. I like wearing them. So many of them. I like it. I mean, do, you, do you match your outfit with them? Hell yeah. yeah. I got the mask with this shit on all kind of shit, bro. I fuck yeah. with the mask. Though. I'm branding with my shit. I like being like a Mortal Kombat character. Mm. I like Cause it. Because I, I remember when that shit wasn't legal for a black man what? to have a mask. You ain't want to have a hood on. Come on now. Give me a mask. I'm going to wear that shit until they say we can't no more. Man, I'm going to wear the mask well after this stop, time to stop wearing the mask. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a white man mask. I got masks mask. lined up for the next three months. Fool these niggas. Yeah. Right? What, the white man mask? Yeah, I'm going to have a white man mouth. On the mask. I'm not, cause that, cause if gone, somebody take a picture of you from the distance, they can twist that story however they want to. Man, I don't know what Clayton going through. <laughs> <laughs> he, nigga, I hit with white man mouth syndrome and shit. Uh, at least, at least, at least, motherfucker can hurry up and go. You know, you go look at the mouth and then. Damn, y'all getting know. money like that? Clayton they got a whole white man mouth. Oh, yep. That, that surgery. That's crazy. Whole mask, you can have a mask mask on. A gas mask. You can mask. have like, like a mask mask. Oh, yeah, I've seen the people with the. I had uh, one with the chamber. Face. Really? Yeah, I got a few chamber. Will Chamberlain. Yeah. Few Chamberlain. <laughs> Will Chamberlain. I hope it don't get that bad. Nah, nah man. Well, Shit about to get. It's about to get a little bit better. What you mean? Oh, like. Nah, no, you just yeah. gotta wear a little pack. <laughs> With a hose. It's gonna like, be that, that, it's gonna be yeah, a little pack a with a hose, hose with a tube with some little green yeah, shit running into your go. body. <laughs> Hemoglobin and shit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. As soon as the shit comes, yeah. Hemoglobin. Oh man. All types of playlists. Man. That is like, too much. Man, what brings you down this way, man? Um, did the comedy show yesterday with Ryan Davis. Yeah. Came out here, did that. But like I said, man, every time I come out here, I, I end up bumping into y'all, man. So Atlanta's just becoming a spot where I, I I come out at least once every two, three months, man. Yeah. Just to come out and get some work done. Man, when you was talking about earlier, like you said, this shit is turn, turning into the blueprint. Yeah. What they saying? Oh, man. Just to, you know what I mean? I had a lot of people that, you know, talk to me about doing podcasts. And my whole thing about doing podcasts is like, man, I don't want to do it unless it's right. I don't want to do anything anybody else is doing. I want it to look different. I want it to feel different. And everybody I talk to, when it comes to podcasts, when they get to that whiteboard, they got to write something down. It's like 85 South Show, The Blueprint. Mm. These are the niggas that are doing it right. And <clears throat> it's, it's, not, it's not even, I mean, all of us are talking about right. it. But to be in those rooms and those buildings and all, everybody in there is like, nah, this is the formula right now. Right. This is a podcast done right. They get the right guests. It's the right amount of time. If, right. if you want to do something, it's got to be like this. That's the crazy part about this. It's just, it's, it's not that complicated. We're comedians, but this is not even a comedy podcast. It's just a podcast that's fucking hilarious. And it's the coldest podcast in all of yeah. the land. You get what I'm saying? Say. Yeah. yeah. We talk shit. We been. It, it, this was being done before it was even what it was. Right. Yeah. You know what it I'm just, saying? It grew into it, man. But it, like, for. for from, you just like, put it in a nice little frame. Just, yeah. just to know, watch it. Just to, watch. like, I watched this shit. Uh, I remember the, the first time I really watched it. I went to one of my homeboys' house, and uh, we was about to play Madden. And they was like, nah, we got to watch the 85 South show. Bro, you mean it, that's how you know we coming up? Yeah, when you get like, to go no, before Madden? Madden? Until we watch the 85 South show, they was all like, we watching this shit. And oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I already know y'all, so I already see this shit, but I was like, man, let me see what these niggas is doing. Right. And I'm watching them watch this shit like my family watches Martin. Right. And I'm like, oh, yeah, <clears> this is different. This is different. These niggas got food, they watching it, and they tuned in for an hour. Right. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is different, man. I can't just jump in the podcast world. <clears throat> and think I'm gonna get in front of a camera and I'm gonna be able to do that. That's not that. Right. They, these niggas got faithful 
people tuned in that I would have never thought be tuned in to shit. Man, you know they be man? checking that shit out. Shout out yeah. to the 85% for making that yeah, shit yeah. possible, man. Man. <clears throat> yeah, they show love everywhere. Hey, like, yeah, it's international. Man, it's dope, bro. Well, look, man, don't let this be the last time you pull up on us, bro. That don't even make sense, man. Every it, time Clayton out in L.A., man, he come through the crib. You know, if you come out there, you got to come through Man, the crib. I miss being able to do that shit and jumping in some shit right quick, doing them man. collabs and shit like that. Oh, this, yeah, you did come by the other crib. Oh, we did the, uh, when we was banging on the door. Yeah. We did at my crib. I forgot how we Crazy did that. Crazy ex-boyfriend. <clears throat> you seen that sketch? Oh, I'm in the bed with Shorty see. and a nigga banging on the door. Uh, uh, Los banging on the door, and, and he's like, hey, come on, open the door. We just broke up yesterday. Oh, and I was yeah, like, what right, the fuck? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's my ex-boyfriend. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> he's like, come on, you in there with a nigga? Oh, come on. Now. And it's like, man, it, it was so funny to post a video like that and to see people react and be like, nah, this shit is comedy. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's fun to take situations like that that niggas really ain't going to try to make that shit funny. That shit yeah. real. It's real. It's real situation. It's real as fuck. Niggas wake up in those situations all the time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and I miss that shit, man. Just because the world shut down don't mean we shut down, bro. No, not at all. What y'all doing <clears throat> is keeping, keeping shit floating, bro. It's, yeah. it's insane. Like, for the for the, the pandemic to hit and y'all was just hitting, the way y'all was hitting theaters and all that, and yeah. for it to hit and y'all to still be giving out content weekly is... That shit, that shit different, man. Mm. It's different to be able to do that shit, man. So I applaud that, especially, I watch everything. So for the, to be able to get up and be like, oh, these niggas definitely got some content for me. Right. Like I was on uh, Instagram today and I seen the picture with Red Grand on the couch. And I could tell by Red's smile, I'm like, oh, this interview's gonna be crazy. Oh yeah. All right, Shout out to Red. <clears throat> yeah. So like, just, just to have that, on the way. When I get home, I'm watching that shit. Yeah, so that's what yeah, it is, bro. though, man. Look, next time you in the city, oh, man, man. we're going to pull up and do this shit again, bro. Absolutely, man. This is the 85 South Show with another exclusive. My partner, Rito Brown. Let's yes. get motherfucking go. Yes. Give me some of that pussy, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> that shit fucked up, bro. We ain't had to do markets like this. I need to fire this motherfucker up, bro. You dig? On my own, current music produced by J-O-N. Look. Look. These niggas be hang. These niggas be talking like they really bad it. These niggas be fake. Whoa. I got some work to do. I've been a murder do. Stay in my lane. I pray to the Lord, cause I need a help, yeah, I need a change, look. I even robbed me a nigga in jail, only spend 30 days in the cell. They let you know that I'm thrown off the shelf. Don't make me come off of these shells, won't moving no kilos, or serving no bells. Just a couple ounces up on the scale, break it down, I'm the server the yell. Hey, now you can tell me by being a player, nigga. Look, on my own. I was standing on the block, on my own. Yeah, ran from the cops, on my own. It was beef, loaded glocks, bust up shots to the top on my own. On my own, huh? I was standing on the block on my own. Ran from the cops on my own. It was beef, loaded glocks, bust up shots to the top on my own. Hey man, I wanna appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy DC Young Flizzy, you did, huh? The 80 vibes. Hold up, hey, this is 80 vibes, you dig what I'm saying? Bring it back, uh, check it out. These niggas be hang, whoa. These niggas be talking like they really bad it. These niggas be fake, look. I got some work to do, I been to murder to do, stay in my lane, look. I pray to the Lord, cause I needed help, yeah, I needed change, whoa. I even robbed me a nigga in jail, only spend 30 days in the cell. They let you know that I'm thrown off the shelf. Don't make me come off of these shells, won't moving no kilos or serving no bells. Just a couple ounces up on the scale, break it down, I'm the server to yell. Ain't nothing you could tell me about being a player, bitch. On my own, I was standing on the block on my own. Ran from the cops on my own. It was beef, loaded glocks, bust some shots to the top on my own. On my own.
spinning on the block on my own. Whoa, ran from the cops on my own. It was beef, loaded glass, but some shots to the top on my own. Hey, J O N produced that. You did? Yeah. Appreciate y'all for having me, even though. That's another song right there. Think that it ain't really about it. Uh, I'ma go ahead and talk about it. Yeah, they thinking they don't really do it. I ain't new to this, but I'm true to this. <laughs> I was used popping the pills up on the corner, dog. Nigga right here, boy, yeah, they're off it, dog. These niggas from the west side on the best side, fuck around there, shoot your yell from your neck down, nigga, uh. Nigga be talking they from Atlanta. Where you from? Where your birth certificate? Show me some. <laughs> Where your birth certificate? What? Show me some. Hello, what's up, nigga? Nigga the dog, he ducked off over there in the cut like that there. Yeah. Yeah. 85. You did. <laughs> 